Nice. There we go. And I think Tanisha's internet is back working too, so she can hop back on. Perfect. Like I got hey, listen. <laughs> we <laughs> we was gonna get it together. I know that's okay. Right. I know that's right. <laughs> Devil will not stop us today. Listen. Now, what we're going to end up doing, we're going to end up doing this all over again, but it's perfect so we can just start getting this conversation out because there were a few people who had some questions before, and I wanted to really get into the GovCon formula. So yes. talk a little bit more about that, and can you can you share with us about GovCon formula? Say that again. Can I share I said, can you share with us a little bit more about GovCon formula? I can. So... I am so excited, y'all. So we just finished our GovCon tour um, where we did hands-on masterclass workshops for contractors who are maybe even been contracting or brand new and really gave them insight to the, the formula so they can be ready for the formula conference, which is April, uh, sorry, May 2nd, May 2nd in Atlanta. So if you're in Atlanta or not, you need to be in the building. We're giving you the entire formula that I have used to be successful in government contracting at this conference. I'm bringing along my colleagues who are also successful in winning government contracts. Like we have the winning formula and that's the goal for the conference. It's so that once you leave the conference, you're actively contracting and winning contracts yes. um, with the federal government, state, local. Um, it's a lot. I mean, it's just it's a lot of details, but um, at the formula, we will have hands-on workshops, um, breakout groups. Nice. We'll have nice. government agencies there. Um, we're going to give you, it's an all-day intensive, so be prepared and ready. But um, it is the, the winning formula. That's what the conference is. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Now, that's exciting because one, one key piece that you mentioned is bringing the agencies to the table. That's always one of the, you know, anytime I hear that there's an event where I can get in front of some agencies, that's always an event that you want to show up to. And even just making sure that you are plugged in with other individuals, too, who are already in this space because, baby, we can partner and get this money. That's and that's what, that's what it's all about. Say that again. Because we can partner. <laughs> is all about community so this govcon basically brings you to a community who has the proven formula who has been winning and now we bring you as a part of our community and you network and build partnerships and relationships mm. with people on site whether it be other contractors like myself and i'm always looking for partners yes <laughs> or if it's my colleagues who need subcontractors I mean, really, whatever you want, we got what you need. Right. Like, serious. <laughs> <laughs> love that. I love that. Now, one key piece that you really mentioned is that networking piece. Like, can you talk a little bit about, you know, the value of networking and how it's worked for you in this space? And then also, how do you leverage, you know, that building a relationship aspect? So networking in any business, whether you're in government contracting or not, is the key to your success it's never always for me about what you learn when you go to these mm -hmm. events it's really about the people you meet the relationships you build and the things that they're able to give you um based on their experiences and so i think that has really bode well for me in my career and i've implemented as a part of my business strategy um but you just have to be in the room like just to get the energy, just to, so that you can build up your productivity, um, so you can get motivated again, build your confidence, whatever that one thing is. As long as you get one gym and you're able to use it, you're winning. So networking is very, very important. And now after, you know, typically we go to a networking event and, you know, you meet some people. And I know you always run into people who like are passing out business cards to everybody they see, right? What that's is a, not the strategy. <laughs> that's about that is strategy. not the strategy. Do not waste your print. First, you need to talk and find synergy, but you need to be able to participate in these conferences intelligently. So you need to know who's going to be there and what is it, what is your ask? What are you taking away from, from them when you see that person, when you see that contracting officer, when you see that large prime uh, contractor? What is it that you're taking, that, what is it that you want to take away? 
I always tell my mentees to start with your ask and know your why. Why are you here? What is it that you're uh, that you want to achieve? And you go, you you start with the end in mind. Like I, when I walk in, I already know that I'm going to meet such and such from uh, USDA. I already know that, and I already know what I'm going to ask them. So you're not just randomly meeting people and building um, a contact list. You're actually building a list that's going to be usable for you to implement as a part of your marketing strategy in this business. And we teach you all of that. We teach you what to ask. We teach you how to be prepared um, and how to network because networking is not about just passing out business cards. It's actually about standing out from other people or other businesses and making sure that you have a memorable impact. Yeah. And, and to that point, you know, thinking about marketing, what are some mm -hmm. of the ways that you've been able to market your business to the government? Um, so part of our marketing strategy is it deals in, this is probably all going to sound like a foreign language, but I'm just going to roll the, roll the clock back and go um, to the beginning for the earlier marketing. So for instance, last week I was on a pre-bid or a pre-proposal conference mm -hmm. and just me announcing myself and my, my company with confidence, it stood out. And the contracting officer responded and said, hey, Ms. Gamry, thank you for joining. You know, so just you um, having a presence and being known within your industry yeah. is marketing within itself. And that's free marketing. Mm. So that happened last week. And then yesterday I had followed up on um, part of our marketing strategy is responding to requests for information, RFIs, or mm -hmm. um, requests for, uh, sorry, sources mm -hmm. sought. And so mm -hmm. I followed up on a, uh, a sources sought and the contract officer immediately said, oh, we're going to be putting this out as a day set aside. I didn't see that your business is eligible for that. I said, oh, that definitely must have been an oversight. Is it possible that I can set up a, um, a meeting for or what works best for you for me to um, provide more insight to the performance work statement? Mm -hmm. So it's not about me selling myself. It's about me offering value to what they do and they feel a need or feel inclined to take my call. And then when they take my call, the, the conversation will sell itself. I don't have to sell myself. I'm never doing that. I'm selling my ability to give you an advantage or help you improve your strategy to, to reach your goals. So part of it is to reach your small business goals, which money set aside. So many billions left on the table last year that we didn't get. We're going to talk about that at the formula because even if you got a million out of that billion, we're all winning. So I Listen. want to teach you how to get to the, get your part of the billions that are already set aside for us. Right. Hey, uh, and I love that you mentioned that, uh, like the 8A program, but also the, the certification piece, right? What is your take on certification or more so advice to businesses who are just in the certification race right now? Okay, don't race. This is not a, this is not a sprint. Okay, we are not, um, what's the young lady's name? The beautiful young, young lady. I can't, it escaped right now. We're oh, not, in, we're not on a sprint. Mm -hmm. Yes, Shikari. Shikari. We're not Shikari, okay? <laughs> you are you. You are running your own race. We're not competing against each other because there's no competition in this industry. None. And why do I say that? Because it's so many billions and 3.6 billion was left on the table last year. So with that being said, it's room for all of us. Yes. We're running a marathon. We're not sprinting a marathon. Let that sink in. Come on now. So whatever it is that you want to do for your business, learn the business first. Mm. And once you learn the business, then you can go in and not compete against you, but compete against the government to help them reach their goals and reach more and more and more. So you are the go-to company. Yes. So for me, and, and this is free game, right? I got my certifications first because I thought I needed to be certified, certified, certified. And I wasted a lot of time not using them or doing anything with it because I didn't know what to do. So point being, be patient and it's going to come to you. So the gotcha. certification 
notifications are very important as a part of your marketing strategy once you've already gotten started, but certifications are irrelevant when you have no clue what you're doing. Yeah. Yes, I love that because you got to know how to leverage those certifications. So yep. learn the process first and having access to people who have already done it is also such a big deal. So that's why I'm also excited ab about GovCon Formula and the event that's coming up as well. But I wanted to um, just ask, well, we have one question in the chat right now. Someone says, should I respond to the point of contact for a pre-solicitation on SAM? The turnaround is only one day. Oh my God, I preached this at the formula. I preached this on the tour. If you found it on sam.gov, you are too late. If you find it on sam.gov, you're too late. You're wasting your time. Companies have already been preparing a year in advance or five years in advance for a contract cycle for the same contract that you find that you need to respond to in one day. Number one, there's no way you can prepare a federal response in one day i can't even do that mm. so if you could then i need you on my team but if you can't respect the fact that timing is everything and we don't fall in love on the first date right you just saw it we don't fall in love on the first date so the next time you see it is when you go after but this time you're just doing market research and putting it in your pipeline but again this is stuff that we teach all at the formula and i could talk days for this and give you all kind of strategy but we don't have enough time here today, but just know that um, timing is everything and having the right formula and the right marketing strategy or the marketing plan is even more important. Absolutely. Now, when it comes down to the formula and just getting in touch with the team, how do we get involved? Like what is the best way to get involved and start uh, our journey on the go and learning more about the GovCon formula? Absolutely. Absolutely. So first, our Instagram handle, at GovConFormula. Um, our website, GovConFormula2424.com. Okay. Um, it gives you information about everything that we have going on. We put out gems on um, GovConFormula's page all the time. We talk about where to find opportunities. We give all that to you for free. So if you register on our website and subscribe, you get freebies that you can start implementing in your business. So we give you the stuff, but what we teach you at the formula is we teach you how to use it, how to be effective, how to manage the process, how to develop your team, um, giving you pricing strategies, um, how to support your past performance, things that you've done in the past um, that might not make sense to you in this world. How, how do you correlate those things? How do you make it make sense? So um, those are our handles. Uh, we also have uh, the phone numbers on the website. Everything's there. So if you're interested just reach out i mean this conversation is so powerful and i'm just amped up because now i'm just like <laughs> i'm just on right. go mode but um i know we don't have enough time to truly get into everything no, but i will just say that um the formula is somewhere that you have to be like the passion that i have on this live is more intensified on the formula um in person like you just need to be in the room not just with me well, all of the people on our team and all of my colleagues who have won and who are winning from the finance department to the trucking industry to healthcare to HR. I mean, we have all of those people on the team. And um, I'm here actually in New York to talk about it to a group of about 300 entrepreneurs here in Harlem who are also about to dive into this GovCon thing. And I've been doing yes. this just shy of two decades. But I've been grinding out and I've learned a lot and I'm just ready to share the knowledge, share the wealth because I want all of us to win. Mm -hmm. All of us. So and it's more than enough opportunity and money out there to make that happen. So absolutely I'll, we appreciate definitely, you know, you sharing this information. This is our first, but definitely not our last not conversation. The last. This is not so the good. last one. So y'all, I have it pinned in the comment section. The GovCon formula, the the big event is May 2nd. But you can in join Atlanta. in Atlanta. Yep. Um, but be on lookout um, because we may drop some other stops on the tour, which is the hands-on masterclass, where you can really, really dive into it. I mean, I don't know. I, I just get so emotional about it because we really are changing people's lives. Like even our contractors, our students are getting um, emotional because number one, they didn't know it exists. Yeah. 
Number two, they didn't feel like they could do it when they found out it exists. And when they leave there, they have so much confidence, confidence, readiness, and tools, and actually know how to do it because we do walk through step by step. It's unmatched. I mean, I will tell you, my program, our program, go, oh, shout out to my partner, Sherelle Rosado. We're in this government contract, and this is huge. So we're changing lives, and that's what we're doing. So I will put our program up against anybody else's program, hands down, and I'll put every penny and every asset that I own that there it doesn't get any better than this. Mm. And someone said, when is the next, I'm thinking master class. The next master class. So keep an eye on the website, subscribe to our email list. You'll be the first to know. And we'll make sure that it's worth your while to attend as long as you're a part of our group. All right. Y'all see that? We have one more question in the chat. And then we're going we gonna to drop it here because she got to go do this speaking engagement. You know, yeah. once you start getting into it, it, it keeps going. It doesn't stop. Yes. <laughs> but definitely... Um, I think we'll 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 come on. We'll do this again probably another day or so. But I'll talk to y'all soon. Until then, this has been another brief episode of the Government Coins Podcast. There will be more to come. So make sure you follow uh GovCom Formula. Make sure you tune in and actually go ahead and subscribe, like she said, on that website. So that way you're staying in line with what information they got coming up. And also go ahead and follow GovLA as well to stay updated on the podcast because there's another interview coming out. So we'll see y'all soon. I love it. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for joining. Y'all take care. All right. All righty. Have a good one, y'all. <laughs>